Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me today. If you're joining us for the first time, this is Art by Julie E. And I am Julie E. And what we are doing today is the Color of the Month collaboration with Nate Bright Art. I'll have his links for his channel and his video in my description below. I was going to do a two by three foot substrate and it's a chalkboard whiteboard reversible board that I got from Home Depot and it was working beautifully, absolutely beautifully. And then I don't know if I oversaturated it, overheated it, what happened, but it started to blister. And yeah, the coating on top started to blister and peel, which is really no bueno. But it started out just absolutely wonderful because it didn't stain at all. You could wipe areas of it completely clean and redo it. And yeah, it was working great. But like I said, it started to blister and everything else. So nope, can't use this one. I might try again on a new board and just try not to overwork it next time. Maybe that was the problem. I'm not sure, but we'll try again on something else. We're going to move on to this. It's a ultra smooth gesso panel from Da Vinci. I love these pro panels. Uh, Clara Lawrence um, uses them. I saw her use them there and ever since my bestie Janice and I have been calling them Clara boards ever since. So that's what we're working on today is a Clara board. Uh, please go check out Clara Lawrence art. Uh, she's got a great channel, lots of alcohol ink demonstrations along with resin also. Um, so, like I said, our color of the month is purple. I've got boysenberry that we're going to work with. This is passion purple and it is quite a bully. So I have <laughs> thinned it down in 50-50 uh, alcohol and a little bit of blending solution. Just keep a binder in there so that it doesn't completely crackle on me. And then uh, this is, okay, this is Pinata Brass. Right there, Pinata Brass. And I think that's gonna look really great together. I'm wondering, oh, you know what? Let's put in some pitch black along with this. And I think I'm thinking, I don't know, I kind of want to put in mushroom or pebble. Yeah, I guess we're just going to go with these three colors and the brass. So, all right. I will put on some music, get my mask on. We already got the gloves on. I will wipe this down with some alcohol and we will get started. All right. Well, you're welcome, trying to find But 
just a kind of price that you gotta pay. Said you have to go, but now you kind of wanna stay. Kind of wanna stay. Cause you're chasing the hurricane.
what I have so far. And I am loving the color bleed out in here. Let me see if I can get it to pick up because, oh my gosh, you should see kind of the blues and pinks that showed up. I'm trying to get it. I wonder, huh, uh, it's so hard to get all the different varied colors that faded out of it. There you can see kind of the blue and pink areas. And here you can see I had some humidity build up. So it made those little beads, but you just make it work for you and it kind of comes out pretty cool. Um, yeah, I love this top part up here. I'm in love with this. I love, look at that ombre. It just kind of fades right up into it. And that's that pitch black. Pitch black doesn't really always make black unless you keep it really concentrated. That is just so pretty, isn't it? Loving that area. Loving it. And then all the veins of gold. Look at those veins of gold. Mmm, yummy. Uh, I think I'm going to play around with my brushes. I've got brushes here and alcohol and stuff, so the mask will go back on. But yeah, I think I wanna change stuff up a little bit in here and see where it takes me. And I'll go ahead and I'll film that separately and um, put that out for you guys in a later video. Okay, so. here we are with final looks. And it, this piece is really growing on me. I really do like the composition now, so I might just seal it and leave it like this without doing any brushwork to it. Um, just Janice is usually right before me, but she's taking a well-deserved day off. And Massey Art Studio is usually right after me. I'm not sure if they have a video today or not, but their link would be in my description if they have one. So please go out and check out the description box and check all the links. Uh, you'll find Nate Bright Arts Color of the Month collab link in there also. So go check that out, please. And um, yes, on the 9th, I will have a collaboration piece for Remembrance Day. Uh, which is a collaboration put together by Nathan Linzel, and it is a camouflage collaboration challenge for our wonderful men and women of the military who have and still serve today. Um, also, after November 15th, I will be off until the first week of December, so I might still have videos out, but they will not be premieres. So. Make sure you hit notifications for all so you don't miss a thing. And until next time, guys, loves and hugs y'all. Bye.